At this stage, it might help to give a brief overview of price elasticity of demand. A common economic theory. This is defined as the relationship between the demand and price of a particular product. The theory assumes a drop in price will increase demand. And the formula simply is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. Pretty straightforward. Let's go through a very simple example using pizzas. I guess everyone loves pizzas. The old price for pizzas was $10 and the old demand was 200 pizzas. The new price is $11 and the new demand has dropped to 160 pizzas. To calculate percentage change in quantity, we take new demand of 160 minus old demand of 200 and then divided by old demand. We multiply it by 100 to get a percentage and we arrive at negative 20%. So demand has dropped by 20%. To calculate percentage change in price, we take the new price of $11 minus old price of $10 and divide it by the old price. We multiply it by 100 to get a percentage and we arrive at 10%. We ignore the minus sign as we are only interested in the percentage of change. So a price increase of 10% led to demand being reduced by 20%. To arrive at price elasticity of demand, we simply take percentage change in quantity which is 20% and divided by percentage change in price which is 10% to arrive at 2. Simply means that for every 1% change in price, demand for pizzas will drop by 2% on the basis of this data. When price elasticity of demand is over 1, pricing is called elastic as we saw in the pizzas example. When price elasticity of demand is under 1, pricing is inelastic which means that a 1% increase in price will have a less than 1% impact on demand. Products with low substitutability are relatively inelastic, while products with high substitutability are relatively elastic.